does this event have any cost or is it open to the public for free? The event is F-R-E-E, -E, so Ooh. no, yeah. So you heard, guys, you cannot miss it. It's going to be the day right before the big game. It's going to be at Bishop Moore Celestian High School. So you got to make sure that you go and get your ticket. Where can we find the tickets? I think you can just show up um, and, and show up on site. Uh, it's an outdoor event. So from a, from a safety standpoint and having it be outdoors, it's not an indoor event. Um, we, we're abiding uh, with uh, there's an event bright link um, that we can share. And so we're working with, you know, the L.A. County, uh, you know, the health and safety folks to just ensure safety and, and people can walk away with a good experience and, and, and no, you know, no negative uh, health implications uh, from, right. from that large gathering, if you will. But of course. Um, we're excited. We've worked really hard, uh, our staff uh, as well. And um, and we're looking forward to the event. <laughs> And welcome back to the show. As I finish my round of interviews here at Salesian High School, I'm going to hand it over to Jeanette, who is going to be talking to Roman Oven, the NFL Vice President of Football Development. Take it over, Jeanette. Yes, Nor, thank you so much. I am a little bit sad that I cannot be there with you right now. However, I am not going to be left behind because I am right here on Zoom with a big NFL personality, Roman Oven. Roman, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Jen. I really appreciate it. Nice talking to you. Roman, so you have had a big career in football. You've been in football since you were a very young boy, since school. So this is something that is very important when you're directing this kind of event because this gives people the security and the reassurance that it is run by the big leagues. Tell us a little bit about your career in football. How long have you been dedicated to playing football since? How, how old were you when you first started playing? And how do you discover that this is what you wanted to do for the rest of your life? I didn't play organized football till high school. I was born in Cameroon in West Africa and uh, came to the States, single mom. I uh, grew up in D.C., and so playing football for me at a young age was a way for me to just instill confidence. You know, every young male teenager in general needs confidence in something. And so uh, football gave me a great, great avenue for that. And uh, obviously my size and speed and strength kind of kicked in in those um, teenage years. And I ended up playing in college at Louisville and then played 12 years in the NFL. And then um, I've been at the league office for uh, seven, seven seasons now uh, working in uh, working in this capacity. Wow. So you have you have been completely involved with play football for a long time. But what we're talking about today is this great event that is not just for the big fans of football, but for the whole family. We have the Play Football Family Festival. Tell us a little bit what the festival is about. What can we expect on this day? Well, the main premise about the Play Football Family Festival is really bringing the Super Bowl uh, festivities to the local community. Uh, this is something we started a few years ago back during the Houston Super Bowl. So this will be our, our fourth or fifth uh, iteration of Family Fest. Um, and to come back to L.A., which the NFL hasn't been in that city uh, for over 30 years, to actually host the Super Bowl um, with a brand new, beautiful stadium in SoFi and all the excitement in the surrounding community. Um, we wanted to bring an event that really um, um, galvanizes the community, whether it's youth, middle, high school, parents, coaches, and just just fun. Uh, there are a lot of different types of family festivals, if you will, and food and prizes and food trucks and all that, but not many with a football specific theme. So we want to use this uh, event to be able to just drive our, our messaging, you know, uniting football community, uh, drive positive conversations uh, around the game of football and just celebrating the importance of football participation, um, especially in the L.A. community. Uh, we're talking about big players that are, are they're going to be big players can we expect to see the big teams at this event and it's supposed to happen the day before the big game is that right yes it's going to be uh saturday it's going to be a saturday event um at bishop mora um high selection high school yes. um in uh, east la and uh we we work with the rams and chargers uh to, to really choose an ideal location we have such a big city you have a lot of different choices but we thought it was great to really um, honor like the East LA community as well um, as everything else is going on downtown. Something Inglewood, obviously the stadium is there. And so uh, we're, we're looking forward to that. And then in terms of the, the, the players, there could be a lot of um, current players there. So like little Danny Thompson is coming. Uh, we're going to also, you know, some will be surprises. Uh, we're still confirming some names, but um, it's, it's, it's great to, to, to see the, from ideation all the way through all the, the visits, 
a lot of our staff, PR, marketing, everyone's really been involved uh, to ensure that it is a great event and that community walks away with a great experience. That is so lovely. So, okay, we one of the things that I read on the release for this event is that you guys are trying to uh, show people and share those values of the sport of football. So what are some of those values that you consider that are very, very important to share with our community and with our families? Well, one thing I would say is that, that there are a lot of values in, in playing sports in general, but like we believe uh, football creates the greatest way of, of character, resiliency, self-determination. Um, if you watch those playoff games over the weekend, the, the, the divisional round, you'll see how close those games came down. And, and, it, and if one person did something wrong, then it made a big difference in win or loss. And so uh, we believe football is the greatest team sport. And uh, for all the values I mentioned, uh, we want people to self-define the game and participation in their own eyes. Um, in 2022 is really the 50th anniversary of Title IX, which was in 1972. And so we believe in uh, amplifying girls' flag football. We want girls to play uh, the game itself. I mean, they become moms who let their kids play and, and are engaged in the game. They're, they're watching games. So we want to just continue to grow the sport and grow the game um, with, with good messaging. And, and obviously this event is a step in the right direction. That's beautiful. I really, really like this because uh, football is, you know, it's majority of male player sport so we don't see a lot of girls involved in this but I, I really loved when i read that and what you said that we can see the girls here too and not just that but we're also giving a big 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 recogn recognition not just to the players because yes they're going to be big legend signing autographs uh but we're gonna see the people behind the formation of the athletes of the future the coaches the high school coaches the youth coaches uh all the football communities of Los Angeles. Now, does this event have any cost or is it open to the public for free? The event is FREE, -E, so Ooh. no, yeah. So you heard guys, you cannot miss it. It's gonna be the day right before the big game. It's gonna be at Bishop Moore Celestian High School. So you gotta make sure that you go and get your ticket. Where can we find the tickets? I think you can just show up um, and, and show up on site. Uh, it's an outdoor event. So from a, from a safety standpoint and having it be outdoors, it's not an indoor event. Um, we, we're abiding uh, with, uh, there's an event bright link um, that we can share. And so we're working with, you know, the LA County, uh, you know, the health and safety folks to just ensure safety and, and people can walk away with a good experience and, and, and no, you know, no negative uh, health implications uh, from, right. from that large gathering, if you will. But of course. Um, we're excited. We've worked really hard, uh, our staff uh, as well, and, um, and we're looking forward to the event. I hear there is going to be a bunch of great activities for this festival. But Roman, I want you to tell me which one are you looking forward to the most? I always look forward to the, the partners that are engaged. So when you look at like Oakley, Wilson, Gatorade, uh, Riddell, Everyone kind of has a little station where you can try on a helmet, try on, you know, their nice cool shades. There'll be a clinic going on, uh, New Era, uh, who does the, the hats. So it, it's great to see this time of year where the sponsors are really involved and really get engaged in the community. Um, so uh, and then obviously we talked about the, the, the special players that will be in attendance. And there's always another surprise. So, you know, DJs, all that stuff. So it'll, it'll be a lot of fun. You know, I think it sounds amazing. Like I said, I, I don't really understand football, but I think I might just be there. Actually, I am going to be there because we are going to be covering this event live that day. Uh, so I'm really, really excited to see it. So, Roman, thank you so, 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 so much. Uh, where can we find you guys on social media or on a website that we can learn more about the event? Well, definitely you can go to at Play Football. And, um, and then I'll be posting it on my social as well at, at R underscore O-B-E-N. Um, and, and a lot of different NFL social accounts, and uh, we'll be looking forward to it. Amazing. Thank you so much, Roman. It's been such a pleasure having you here today. We look forward to seeing you there that day. And please continue to build community for us to push these kiddos to work hard and to achieve their dreams because we know it's not easy, but with the right guidance and the right kind of energy, everything is possible. So thank you so much for what you're doing for the community. Thank you, Jeanette. I really appreciate it. Nice talking to you. Yeah, okay. This is our time to shine, set it off like dynamite.